Hello there. My name is Belteshazzar Banshee, and this is Belteshazzar's Star Wars Bites. Now, when Jonathan and Adam asked me to do a video about Star Wars, I said, what's there to talk about? I've seen all the Last Jedi video essays on YouTube, and I agree, the movie sucks. But then I remembered the mouse did something even worse with Star Wars. Galaxy's Edge. So, like I said before the intro, I'm here to talk all the things that the mouse promised for the galaxy's ledge, but that fell off that ledge and into the Sarlacc pit with Gennady Tarakovsky's Clone Wars. First, of course, the interactivity. The idea that you could perform poorly on Smuggler's Run and be hunted by a bounty hunter simply does not work. With your 100 day advance Ogre's Cantina reservations, who's to say you've even ridden the attraction before you visited the cantina? This was problematic from the moment they announced it, and I've never seen it happen as I fly above DJR3X. Or how about the lack of a table service restaurant? And that forgotten Bantha ride? All casualties of Bob Iger's penny pinching initiative. Why, they couldn't even have more than one mission for Smuggler's Run when it's clearly designed for more. But I shouldn't be surprised. This immense laziness extends to poor sightlines in multiple parts of the land, ruining the immersion as well. We clearly know Disney is capable of more, with incredible lightsaber shows being performed at the openings, and X-Wing drones flying above the land. And then, there's the big one. There are no... Who are you? Well, this is my segment, and I, Balthazar Banshee, will continue. You are welcome to listen. I'll be the bigger Banshee and ignore that. We all know Disney removed roaming droids from the land, except for 80s Night and the rare R2-D2. They replaced it with this pathetic excuse for a droid play area that rivals Hollywood Studios' hula hoops for worst value attraction. That brings me right into another complaint. Many of the best experiences in Galaxy's Edge, including Savi's workshop and the droid depot, are behind barriers with a price tag of over $100. This is outrageous in a land that Disney can't even bother to let more than the first one minute of people ride the main ride, and the line is always far too long to enjoy the other ride. This land is an utter failure in every way. You know, this has been Belteshazzar's Banshee Bite. Better than Galaxy's Edge, because it actually has a free-roving droid. And I'll see you next time.